Now I've used ACF 50 for a number of years on both motorcycles and bikes and it's fantastic stuff. It's spray on, wipe off, lasts for months, doesn't leave any residue and it's fantastic in switch gear, electricals, rubber, plastics, all sorts. It brings up a good shine, long lasting and it actually smells really nice as well. So today we're going to be giving the scooter a liberal coating of this and see how we get on. As I said before, I'm a big advocate of this stuff. It's used primarily in the aircraft industry. I think that's where it came from originally. Um, for use on boats, planes, helicopters, that kind of thing. Um, but it doesn't mean to say you can't use it on anything else which uh, is out in the atmosphere and would crow naturally. Um, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Um, I think I got this from Amazon. They do it in a kit with the applicator spray, which atomizes the oil in the right way. You can use other sprayers, but it doesn't tend to give as good a result. Um, and I think it's fantastic stuff. It's pretty pricey for what it is, um, but it goes a long way. I mean, a bottle like this, which is uh, almost a litre, will probably give you, well, on a scooter, it'll probably give you 30, 40 applications, which is, well, all you really need. Okay, well I've filled about a third of the bottle from the main bottle and all I'm going to do now is put cloths over the areas where I don't want the ACF 50 to go and then uh, we can continue. So basically what I'm looking to do is to get ACF 50 over um, either the tyres or the braking surfaces, so the calipers, the pads or anything like that, the discs. Um, so what we do is literally just pop a, a cloth over each side, one for the back and also the same for the handlebars because we'll be doing up the fork and up to the main stem okay so we've masked over all the areas that we don't want it to go so in the lights tires discs uh, in where the uh, hub motors are located uh, suspension's fine any of this exposed wiring is fine any of these uh, bolt heads are okay especially in these recessed areas on the bolts they're absolutely fine to be covered um, similarly long here on the main body again also around the back um, covering the rear wheel brake assembly and so on so all we do is get our ACF 50 and then we basically spray it okay now the scooter's got a liberal dosing and you can see it is pretty liberal it's pretty much everywhere then what I recommend on doing is just taking the cloths off of the wheels and everything else out of the way and then using the same cloth to start buffing off all the areas from which you've sprayed and then all you basically do is work your way all around ensuring there are no big droplets of the preventative sitting anywhere on the scooter itself is a little bit on the deck don't worry about it so much but just make sure you haven't completely covered it because as I say this is your platform to stand on you don't want it getting too slippery so again turn the steering round yeah in all the bolt holes there you go and just keep working it in and wiping off as you go around. If you do leave any large areas unwiped then you'll find that next time you go out the dirt will tend to stick to it uh, and create sort of little dirt pockets but uh, again you've got that layer of protection before the dirt so don't worry about it too much if you've not got it off first time you'll get it off second time or third time or whenever you next come to do it. Again, I'm coming round to the back. See, it works really well on the plastics as well. Working round the main bolts for the swing arms, and all round here, it's all all the ACF 50s inside all these little bolt heads here, providing lots of good protection. Really good for cables. It's non-conductive, so. Don't worry about getting anywhere where the main current from the battery flows in and out of the deck. They're all in the spring down here. All underneath here. It actually uh, shines up quite nicely with this ACF 50 as well. So it 
that uh, gives it a little bit of extra sparkle, shall we say. Coming around to the other side. Oh yeah, there's plenty in there. finished all of that then we finish off doing up the forks to the top of the stem and then finally with the handlebars and now that we've come up to the top of the forks and the headstock just be careful about working around these you might find that you have enough residual ACF left on the cloth you've been doing all the rest of the wiping down with to pretty much cover everything you need to up here so you can do the brake lever reservoirs, omitting the grips and the handles. You don't want a slippery surface. You don't want your finger slipping off of there when you really do need to come to brake. And around on here as well. So even though you think you're wiping everything off, you're not quite getting everything and you do leave a very thin, apparently according to the spill a molecular level of uh, cover that you cannot see and it resists washing rainwater soap and so on for uh, several months in fact so you know that when you've done this you're good to go probably for the rest of the summer or winter for that matter but I would probably say that uh, your scoots are going to get pretty filthy in the winter anyway so you're going to wash it going to want to wash it more than once certainly if uh, there's salt on the road, that's the first thing that's going to corrode away all the bolts and everything. And I would imagine it's going to be quite expensive replacing all of these with titanium equivalents. So it's probably best to just get the preventative maintenance in while you can. It'll ultimately save you in the long run, I think. Now, as you can see, the effect is pretty good. Really nice and shiny and you know you've got a really good level of protection in there running along same at the front there doesn't matter if you've got a little bit left over it'll probably leak out over the next day or so out of some of these bolt heads so just when you spot it go around with a tissue and uh, just pick it up from there <laughs> 